Hello, my name is Chloe and today I'm coming at you to show you my bookshelf. Behind me is my brand new bookshelf that I got for my birthday so I finally have a place to put all of my books. Now I do have a lot more books back home in New Zealand where I come from so it's not as many books as I actually own but I'm starting up my collection again. It's like my Australian collection but that's okay. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you my bookshelf because it's so pretty and new and I'm also going to show you a bit of a video on how I arranged my bookshelf so how I decided to arrange the books onto my bookshelf to make it look like what it is behind me so here we go so behind me I have my blank bookshelf which got put up the other night um, it took a lot longer than I would care to admit to put up purely my own fault uh, I kind of put the bottom where the top should be and I put the top where the bottom should be and it shouldn't have fit but I made it fit so it was really hard to pull it back apart when I realized I put it together wrong so it took a lot longer to put together than I would like but it is together and it is behind me and now I'm gonna put my books in it and here are all of my books ready to be sorted onto my bookshelves I'm probably only going to fill up the top two shelves at this stage. I don't have as many books as I would like right now because, you know, the majority of my books, they're back in New Zealand, like all of my Rochelle Mead books, like Vampire Academy, all my Twilight books, and Harry Potter, and just my, all my series that I no longer have with me. <laughs> so sad, but it's okay. So I'm going to sort out the books that I have with me right now and uh, see how I put it onto my bookshelf and sort it out. <sighs> So on this shelf up here, what I'm doing is I'm putting all of my John Green books. I have uh, The Fault Now Stars, the movie cover, and The Fault Now Stars, the original cover, as well as the Paper Towns original cover, Paper Towns movie cover, and then the other two John Green novels, Looking for Alaska and, Abund and Abundance of Catherine. I've also chucked on this shelf as well with these books, Manil and the Dying Girl, as well as All of the Bright Places, um, because I feel like they're kind of similar-ish in the kind of books that they are, like the young adult, like LBGQ kind of books. Um, so I've chucked them all up there for now. I'll probably move a lot of this around later as I get more books, but this is how I'm organizing it right now. <laughs> I've put up here is uh, Off the Page by J.B. Cohen, Samantha Van Leer, and Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. And then I've got my Angel Fool series, so Penrin and the End of Days series, which is Angel Fool, World After, and End of Days. This one is just my favorite, so which is why I've kind of flipped it out to show out the front, because it's just, it's blue and it's like a green mesh together and it's just like a really beautiful cover, so I love it. Although all of them are really beautiful covers. I mean, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful covers. Absolutely wonderful covers. And then I've also just uh, like kind of randomly chucked in there The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Um, it's kind of a random, ra <laughs> a, random rooks, a random mix of books that I've chucked up here, mainly because I need to fiddle my paperbacks together somehow, and I, it's just a random mix, but I don't really care. And like I said, I'll probably move things around later on, but for now, I'm putting it like this. And on this shelf here, what I've done is I've kind of chucked in all my high fantasy novels. So this is like the Name of the Wind series. It's actually not the Name of the Wind series. It's called the King Col King Killer Chronicles. And the first book is the Name of the Wind, which is absolutely, absolutely amazing. It's so, so good. And the second book in that uh, series, which is The Wise Man's Fear. And then we've got um, the Song of Ice and Fire series, which is Game of Thrones. And the second book, Clash of Kings. So it's just like high fantasy type thing and of course I don't have very many of them these are the only two books out in this trilogy and I've only got the first two books of the Game of Thrones so 
when I do get more, of course, I will sort them out differently so that they're all together in their respective series. So what I've done over here is I've just kind of put, put a random mix in here as well, mainly because some of my series, uh, that well actually none of my series are finished, like, like my three Bloodline series books here, so we've got The Fiery Heart, The Silver Shadows and The Ruby Circle. Um, I don't have the other ones because they're currently in a box in New Zealand, so it's just kind of a random mix. I've only got City of Heavenly Fire as well out of the Mortal Instruments series because all my other books are back home. Um, and I also just have the third book in... no, that's the second book. The second book of the Divergent series, uh, the first book of the Aragon series, Court of, Thorn a Court of Thorns and Roses, um, and the first book in the Tomorrow When the War Began series. And I've just kind of chucked up here this random little book that my best friend gave me like a year ago. It's a Rochelle Mead book, so I thought it was appropriate to stick on top of the Rochelle Mead books. I haven't read it, but it's tiny and it fits there, so I'm putting it there. Over here, I've just kind of chucked in all my hardcover books because I just want to like sort them all out for like the hardcover and softcover. Um, I have just kind of chucked in Poison Study there because it adds that really nicely. It's not a hardcover, but oh well. So there I've got A Throne of Glass, Outlander, The Queen of the Tearling, The Red Queen, The Wrath and the Dawn, The Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, which I'm currently reading, and Poison Study. Now what I've done over here is I've kind of chucked in all of Jennifer L. Armantrout's books. So I've got the Lux series, the Wait For You series, which is unfinished, and then I've got some Colleen Hoover novels, so Ugly Love, Maybe Someday, and then I've got the first Delirium novel there. I don't have the other ones, haven't read it, so I'll get around to it at some stage. Like I said, this is just kind of a random splush together of books because most of my series are not completed. Um, and then I've also got The Seventh Son, also it's completely unrelated to all of these books, but I just chucked it in there because it fits. And then over here I've got my selection series, which is The Selection, The Elite, The One and The Ear. I've put The Ear facing outwards because it's actually my favourite cover from these books. It's I think it's just really pretty. It's not my favourite out of the selection books, but it's definitely my favourite cover. Like, I really like it. It's really pretty. It's like blues and purples, and it's like mystical and pretty, and it's like lights and shininess. It's awesome, so I like it. And then I've also got my two novels from the Malediction series, so that's Stolen Songbird and Hidden Huntress. Haven't read this book yet, but I'm really excited to read it. And then I've just also chucked in a random novel, Because of Low by Abby Glines. Now what I'm also going to chuck on my bookshelf today are a couple of little knick-knacky typey items. The first one is going to be this kiwi that I put together myself. So it came in all these like little bits and bobs, and then when you look at it side on, it becomes a kiwi. Front on, it's like kind of weird. But anyway, I'm putting this onto my bookshelf too. Chuck it over here. And then I've also got this little like... BFF stand that I got from my best friend and it just says best friends forever and I'm gonna chuck it over by my kiwi and I've also got a couple of little nerdy items that I'm gonna chuck in there as well I've got Claptrap which is from the Borderlands uh, video game and I'm going to just kind of stick him on top of the bookshelf up there and I've also got Groot so it's like the dancing Groot actually so it's when he's like all dancing in his pot at the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So I'm going to chuck those up there. And I'm also going to put my teddy bear up there. I still have so many empty spaces for more books. Yes. So there you have it, and that is how I have organized my bookshelf today. I will probably change it around a fair bit, but this is how I'm going to have it for right now, which I'm really excited to just have a bookshelf and have somewhere to put all of my books. It's just, it's great. And I also got a book in the mail today. So this book is uh, from my boyfriend's parents. So this is their present to me for my birthday. So I'm going to open it right now. And I'm really excited and I don't actually know what it is. Because they told me they got it off my Amazon list. Ah, but they did not tell me what it was. So it's a complete surprise. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, it's all like gift wrapped and stuff. Oh, it's a little bit open, but that's okay. Hi Chloe, happy birthday, enjoy your gift. Ah oh, yes! <laughs> so they got me We Were Liars by E. Lockhart and I've actually been wanting to read this one for a very long time. It's been out for so long and I've really, really, really been anticipating reading this. So I'm very, very happy to have it. Thank you so, so, so much. I won't name them because it's on the internet so I won't do that. But thank you very, very much my absolutely lovely boyfriend's parents. I'm so excited to have this book. Where am I going to put it? 
actually might put its hardcover, so I'm going to take away Poison Study, I'll put it with my hardcover books. Oh, look, it's the same size. No, you're not gonna zip. No, you're not gonna zip there. Okay, I'm just gonna prop it up there for now, cause whatever. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll come at you with another one shortly. Bye! Kitty.